thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to do the YouTube -y things. I've gotten to see a really weird side of internalized misogyny of trying to dress itself as as feminist uh, in the course of responding to that video about abortions. Um, oh my god. I know I keep doing videos on this person. And I, I really, I'm not a mean person. But this is, I don't know what else to say other than this is insane. I can't understand how anyone can watch this person or somebody like them and take them seriously. Do they think people are taking them seriously? How is it that it's all, I know people like this. I know people that take themselves too seriously, that have all these terms and words that they use to sound self-righteous and like they know a lot about this whole leftist agenda and that they are the ones that care and they are the ones that just don't understand how anyone couldn't understand. I'm sorry, but there are facts, there is science, and there is they are things that are real and things that are not real. I don't know. Keep We'll keep watching. So... It's really weird to see women being pro-life. First of all, it's really- I'm sorry, how? how why is it hard? Uh, let's keep watching. It's really weird to see women being pro-life. I'm gonna put that in quotes because it's really anti-choice. It's really weird to see cis women- It's anti-choice to kill your own child inside your womb. Now listen, I get that things happen, but please understand that when people talk about being pro-life, we are not talking about medical situations that come up or horrible things that may happen. What we are talking about is people using abortion as a form of birth control, celebrating it and thinking it's fun or funny or it's a great part of life and they can screw whoever they want and have as many abortions as they want. That's what we're talking about, 99.9% .9 of us. Are there some fringe few that, that think, listen, eh, no abortion, no abortion, no abortion? Yes, of course. But most of us are realistically in the ball field of we don't want to make abortion, uh, what was it, legal, safe, and rare. That's where most of us sit, okay? Being anti-choice. I think it's really weird to see women in general being anti-choice. And they try to, they try to sell this. Can I, I know, I keep stopping it because this drives me in freaking sane. But listen, I got pregnant many times on purpose, not like on accident. <laughs> and I couldn't have a child. And I remember losing, I, I had a problem, they fixed it. I now have two children and I can't imagine my life without them. It was amazing and the most beautiful thing. And no one, especially a man dressed as a woman, can understand that feeling unless you are a mother. And if you don't feel that feeling and you don't know it, God bless you, I don't know what to tell you. But as a mother, it changed me. I used to be pro-choice. I was pro-choice until I lost babies and watched other people around me celebrating their abortions, having all these kids. And then I watched this one thing where this woman was older than me, uh, a lot older than me, later 50s or something. And she was talking about having like, grown children and little children. And they were all over the place in different foster homes. She was a drug addict, but she, and she lived in this trailer and she didn't have anything and she couldn't feed her kids and stuff that, that were with her, but she kept losing them to, in different times and she kept getting pregnant. And I thought about that. And I'm like, it's so unfair that she can get pregnant and I can't. Okay. However, I would not have changed my mind. Now, back then I was like, oh, you know, maybe an abortion would have been better. But it made me put two and two together and realize that killing an innocent ch person, child, baby, does not make two, two wrongs don't make a right, right? Those children, as sad as it is, life is sad sometimes, life is hard sometimes, but it's life. You have no life and you have life. And maybe I just don't understand where these people are coming from. Maybe they think that no life is better than a life where they could live or, or do something. I mean, you never know. One of these children could be the person that creates a cure for cancer. I don't know. Let's continue this nonsense. Her life agenda is feminist by dressing it up in language about the sacredness of motherhood and the sacred feminine. And they talk about... Isn't that what I said? I just said that. That I knew that this person, this guy was going to blame it on this sacred mother. Well, that is a fact. You don't have it, but we do. 
about it like oh motherhood is this experience that is an essential part of womanhood that every woman must have and they're selling the forced birth anti-choice agenda and it's not anti-choice you dumbass it's not anti-choice we want people to have a choice and the choice is the choice comes as to when you have intercourse with somebody and we all know that when you have intercourse with somebody you'll get pregnant that's your choice right there I made lots of bad choices and probably should have gotten pregnant many times. I was a stupid kid and I did stupid things, but I would have paid the consequences had that happened. I was educated. I know there are kids out there that are not as educated, but everybody from the age of like what, four or five? Well, in y'all's case, maybe younger because you know all kinds of things at age two now. Know that if you have sex, you have a pregnancy or a potential pregnancy. This is not a new thing. This has been going on forever trying to dress it up as feminist and like the language they're using around all of this sacredness of motherhood they're selling religion <laughs> no they're not they're not selling religion no they're not i'm not religious it has nothing to do with religion it has to do with a child that you can kill or you can not kill the end that's it. it has nothing to do with religious at least for many of us some people probably it does but not everybody don't generalize it whether it's christian or pagan they're selling religion Oh, there's so many, so many pagan people that are pro-life. I'm just saying. Then as a reason to be anti-choice and be in favor of the forced birth agenda, that's not. Forced birth agenda. We are forcing you now to give birth. I'm sorry, how is that? Keep in mind that this will never be the case in America, especially, probably anywhere, but in America, the only thing that, that that getting rid of Roe versus Wade did was send the decision back to the states. All this rhetoric about, oh my God, you can't get an abortion anymore and blah, 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 is such baloney. What we need to do is safe, legal, and rare. It needs to be on an occasion where it is absolutely necessary and it needs to be uh, pull, you know, may, I mean, I personally don't think it should be done at all. However, I would be willing to work with the Democratic side, the left side in coming up with some kind of time stamp when that is ending. I don't like it because when do you decide? I heard my baby's heart beat at like six weeks or even it might have even been before that because I was high risk and I was in there looking every day all the time because I was frantic about it all that glory, glory, be a mother kind of crap, which you think is not real. Well, guess what, my bro, it is. Not sorry. You don't have to be sorry. There's nothing for you to be sorry about. You didn't do anything except say really stupid things. Okay, I have to be done with this. I'm so over it. I can't even with these people. Listen, I'm not, a, I don't claim to be a feminist. I would have been a feminist a long time ago, but now I don't even want to be associated with feminism. I actually think that women have a place. I think men have a place. I think masculinity is a really, really amazing thing that women need. And I think femininity is something that men need. And actually, I think women that are going out and being a little more adventurous in the bedroom, to say it nicely, and creating these sort of sissy boys out of men is actually creating more toxic masculinity. Because men need women. Whoop. Men need women and soft feminine women to pull them back from their natural urges. They need women. Like, we need each other. This is ridiculous. I can't stand this. I know I keep doing videos on this man, but some of the stuff that comes out of his mouth, oh my God, it makes my blood boil. I'll see you on the next one. Comment. I can't wait to see you guys in the comments. I will try to respond. All right, bye. Have a good night. Deep and know you did to me.